Welcome back. In this video, we'll walk through one more example of a hypothesis test for a population mean. So according to the United States Mint, quarters weigh 5.67 grams. A researcher is interested in determining whether the state quarters have a weight that is different than 5.67 grams. So he randomly selects 18 state quarters weighs them, and obtains the data shown here. And so we want to test at the alpha equals 0.05 level of significance, is there evidence to conclude that state quarters have a weight that is different than 5.67 grams? Now notice the keyword different that tells us that this is going to be a two-sided test. In other words, the researcher doesn't have any reason to believe before he collects the data whether the true mean weight of state quarters might be less than or greater than 5.67 grams. He just wants to know if there's evidence that their weight is different than 5.67 grams. And so that means we're going to have a two-sided or a two-tailed test. So, step one is to set up our hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is going to be HO, mu equals 5.67 grams, and our alternative is H1, mu is not equal to 5.67, because remember, we want a two-tailed test. But now, before we proceed with the test, we need to check our assumptions. First, we're told that our researcher took a random sample of state quarters. So that satisfies our first assumption that our test requires a random sample from the population we're interested in. And second, our test requires that the population we're sampling from is normally distributed. Now we know that if we have a large sample, greater than or equal to 30, then we can relax that assumption. However, here we only have a sample of 18 quarters, so we're going to need to verify that the sample appears to be drawn from a normal distribution. So I'm going to put this data in the mini tab, which gives me the following normal probability plot. So the normal probability plot looks good. The data appears to be drawn from a population that's normally distributed. And now, since we have a small sample, we should also check for outliers. So I create a box plot, which does not indicate the presence of any outliers in our data. So now, we can proceed with our test. In step two, we identify the significance level, which we said is alpha equals 0.05. Now, in step 3, we calculate the value of the test statistic. From our data, we get a sample mean of x bar equals 5.7022 and a sample standard deviation of s equals 0.0497. And so when we plug these values into the formula for our test statistic, t sub 0, we get t sub 0 equals 2.75. And now that agrees with the result of our hypothesis test that I've run here in StatCrunch. We get a value of the test statistic to be 2.75, and its associated p-value is 0.0136. So, I want to write down the p-value of 0.0136, and I want to sketch the p-value region on the t-distribution. Now, notice that we're looking at a t-distribution with 17 degrees of freedom, and our test statistic was 2.75. But remember that this is a two-sided test, so I need to add the value negative 2.75 to the other side of the graph 
and then the p-value is going to be the total area under the curve to the right of 2.75 and to the left of negative 2.75. So step five, we say that the p-value of 0.0136 is less than alpha of 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. And in step six, we'll say at the alpha equals 0.05 level of significance, there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean weight of state quarters is different than 5.67 grams.